Hello, welcome back to the Advent Alphabet of Self Care and today it's M which stands for Mindfulness. Now mindfulness has become very popular over the last few years. Many of you might well be familiar with it already. I'd like to define mindfulness as really um, being able to be in the present moment. And that means that we we become, become aware of our thoughts and our sensations, what's happening to us in this particular moment. The first time um, when I started to learn mindfulness, I look back on it now and smile because um, I went on a um, course to teach me mindfulness. And one of the things I was trying to do was I was trying to make a success of it. And um, I was trying very hard to make it work. And in actual fact, that isn't what mindfulness is about because mindfulness is simply an awareness of what's going on in the present moment. Um, and the reason mindfulness can be so helpful to us is we're able to take a little step back from what's going on and we're able to notice the way our bodies and our thoughts and our feelings are in any given moment. And that ability to be able to observe it, it sort of gives us an extra part of ourselves and we're able to see that exactly what's happening to us in this moment is not actually the entirety of who we are. And as we become more aware of what's going on, we're able to um, sort of handle it better really. And what happens is we become less reactive to what's going on in the moment. And it's been shown that people who meditate regularly um, actually are a great deal calmer and um, they don't tend to um, react so quickly to the stimulus that's there. And that means that their um, thinking human parts of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, has more time to, um, to react to circumstances. And people who practice mindfulness and meditation tend to be calmer and more um, measured in the way that they respond to what's going on around them. So mindfulness can be a really helpful thing to do. But as I said, when I first started out on my mindfulness journey, I tried very hard to make it work. And the whole thing about mindfulness is it's all about being non-striving. And also we have something called the beginner's mind. And I actually find this really helpful because mindfulness is actually not an easy skill to learn because mindfulness is all about stopping and just noticing. But the problem is, as my yoga teacher says, is that our, our lungs are designed to breathe, our hearts are designed to beat, and our minds are designed to think. And what you'll find if you try and slow down and give yourself time to maybe just focus in on your breathing and just notice what's going on around you, before very long, your mind will be racing away and thinking about something else. And that is perfectly normal. A lot of people say, I can't do meditation, I can't do mindfulness because I can't slow my mind down. Well, in fact, even the most experienced meditator would hit that sort of problem. Their, their mind is just constantly trying to think. And all mindfulness is really, is it's about noticing when that's happening and bringing our thoughts back to a particular focus. And we often choose to focus on the breath because the breath is always there with us um, and it, it acts as a sort of anchor to us when we're trying to focus in on this present moment. So that's a very sort of quick introduction to mindfulness. And um, it may be something that you might um, think you're too busy to do at the moment. I often find that the times um, when I can be mindful is actually perhaps if I can't sleep and then I can lie there in bed and I can notice what's going on around me and I try and find um, different things that I can hear um, and just focus in on what's happening to my body and maybe noticing um, the sensations that are going on in my body and at those moments I can try and be mindful. It's really helpful if you can introduce a regular practice. So if you're a morning person, you might like to be someone who tries to meditate before breakfast. And that's what I do because as soon as the day gets going, um, lots of other things happen and I find it really difficult to, um, to be 
sort of committed to the practice. So I try and be mindful. That's the first thing I do when I get up, is take myself off to a quiet space, sit and breathe. And I also use um, one of the apps that you can get. I use Headspace, but there's lots of other ones. Calm is another one that's quite good. So you can learn to um, practice mindfulness in different ways. You could also go on a course um, so the mindfulness-based stress reduction course is something that a lot of places offer, but you only need to do a quick internet search and you'll be able to find lots and lots of information on mindfulness. But I'd really like to recommend it because although I would say that I am very much a beginner, um, although I've been trying to learn meditation for about three years now, I still very much feel that I'm, I'm a beginner. But I have found that it's made an enormous amount of difference to my life. Um, it has helped me to be calmer and less reactive. Um, and, uh, you know, it's actually really helped me with managing my feelings. So I'd recommend it as a self-care technique. And if any of you would like some more information, I'm really happy to talk to you about it. Okay then, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.